Oh, hello internet land. It's uh, Zion here. I'm Vicky. Today we would like to talk to you, you foreign people, about if you come and visit good old Blighty. A lot of you seem to like to come over to see our queen, which is, which is quite correct. That's the kind of thing that you should do. Of course, what you need to know is that if you go up to any English man in his mobile telephone, he will have the personal details of the Queen. Something that you probably don't know is that every single person born in Great Britain gets to be christened by the Queen. Victoria? We generally have lunch with her at least once a month. It's considered extremely rude not to. Oh, and always take a treat for the corgis. So, what you need to know about being in Britain, there are several things that you must and mustn't talk to British people about. The first thing that you must talk to British people about is the war. Either one will do, because we won them both. But as long as you talk about us good old Tommies and the nasty old Huns, then we're quite happy. Food is obviously quite important to English people. We eat most days. Nearly every day. Now, some people in, in Great Britain, they read the sun, and those people prefer to eat full English breakfasts. They consist of... Bacon. And sausage. And beans. And more sausage. And beans. And some eggs. And maybe some mushrooms. And sausage. These people you'll be able to recognise because they are very, very large. And usually common. Some of us better bred people like to hunt these people on a Sunday from horseback. Since hunting foxes with dogs has been banned, this is the new very popular sport in England and it's not considered cruel at all. Not even slightly. No. On Fridays, these same people will eat fish and chips. Wrapped in newspaper. The fish is dipped in batter and then cooked in very, very hot fat. And so are the chips. The chips are made from potatoes. What most people don't know is that England actually invented the potato. Then the Irish stole it. England is also responsible for just about every single wonderful invention known to man. We invented tea. We invented the tea cup. We invented the kettle. We also invented the umbrella. Oh yeah, we need the umbrella. Next, you need to know about drink. There are two types of people in Great Britain. There are those of us who drink tea. And there are those of us who drink Strongbow. If you go out in Great Britain on a Friday or a Saturday night, you will see lots of young people laying on the floor in their own vomit. This is because they prefer to drink Strongbow over tea. Binge drinking is actually a national sport. Next we will talk to you about home. You may have heard the expression that every Englishman's home is his castle. That is because this is complete fact. We all live in castles. This is absolutely true. We live in a council castle. I shall now show you an image of the home where I grew up. This is a beautiful photograph of Zeon's childhood home. He was quite poor as a child, so please don't judge him by this. This is a photograph of Victoria's home. This is where she grew up. It's quite a scummy area of London. As we have mentioned London, the capital of England, we should talk to you a little bit about it. London is basically an impoverished ghetto where poor people are killed on a daily basis and rich people live in great big castles and go out and shoot them on horses. The outskirts of London are where people that have jobs live. These are called the suburbs. People in the south have jobs. People in the north do not have jobs. That is how you know whether somebody comes from the north or the south. Whilst in London, if you are forced to use public transport, please do not make eye contact with the locals. This is considered the height of rudeness and will result in you being challenged to a duel to the death. If you see any young ruffians on the tube and you are tempted to make eye contact, please be aware that all of them will be carrying knives and they will stab you. Furthermore, should you be tempted to talk to a stranger, please just don't. We're, we're just not interested. One of the key ingredients to being an Englishman is politeness. 
always, always, always open the door for a lady or a man who looks like a lady. Or if you're not sure, then just open the door to be safe. You must slightly curtsy, thus. And if it is a gentleman, take a small bow. People in Great Britain like to queue. It's the most fun you can have in England. If you see a queue, please feel free to join the back of it. Never, ever, ever push your way into a queue as this will result in you being shipped to Australia. Yes, this is considered bad form. Another thing that you must what? know is that... Oh, oh sorry. I'm sorry, so sorry. 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 You, you carry on. That was my fault, I'm sorry. You no, 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 you carry on. Sorry, 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 please go ahead. Are you sure? I'm absolutely sure. Okay. One thing that you must understand in Britain... So that's okay, that's okay. One thing that you must know about British people is that we like to apologise a lot. Even if it's not our fault. So if somebody walks into you, you must say sorry. At least 20 times. Yes. We shall now demonstrate to you how to pass a person coming in the opposite direction. Sure. Sorry. 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 <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just yes, okay. We must stop meeting like this. Now, on occasion, you may be asked for a light. If you don't smoke, the proper etiquette is to apologise for not wanting to give yourself cancer. For example, excuse me, do you have a light? I'm sorry, I don't smoke. You bastard! Next, communication. One of the most basic tools us human beings have. This is how not to do it in England. Hello, how are you? I'm very, very unwell. I've got the plague, my house burned down in the Great Fire of London, and I think my aunt is going to be executed for treason. And this is the correct form. Hello, how are you? Oh, absolutely fine. Good show. Good show. So please understand, we aren't the slightest bit interested in how you are. Next, it is imperative that you understand the form of communication known as sarcasm. 99% of English communication takes place through sarcasm. Absolutely. What we are doing right now is definitely not sarcastic. We would never be sarcastic to you, our wonderful viewers. No. Here is an example of sarcasm. Did you stub your toe? Yes. Did it hurt? No, not at all. Now this is very serious. Something that you should always avoid talking about is money. If you have money, it is vulgar to talk about having money. If you do not have money, those of us with money don't want to hear about it. Americans quite often like to talk about how they better themselves through hard work and determination rising from poor lower class to well-off middle or even upper class. In England, we do not do this. In England, we have a class system. It is rigid and we stick to it. We do not mingle outside of our class. It's considered vulgar and disgusting. In fact, you may have heard that there is no capital punishment in Great Britain. That is actually untrue. If the lower and upper classes mix, the lower classes will be executed. Now, you may have seen the documentary program Harry Potter. This has led to a huge influx of people applying to our wizardry schools. Please be aware that these schools are full. There is no more room. We can't afford any more wizards. But if you want a jolly good jape, just go to any train station and ask the station master for any platform with a half. Britain has a terrible reputation for rain. Please understand, it does not rain all of the time. Sometimes it showers. And sometimes it spits. Sometimes it's just a bit of wintry weather. Sometimes it's drizzly. Sometimes it's hail. Sometimes it's misery. Sometimes it's stormy. Sometimes it's grizzly. And other times the sun will come out. That happened once in 1974. A recent discovery in Great Britain is that all of the DJs from the 1970s are paedophiles. Who knew? For those of you that don't know what a paedophile is, ask your dad. We do hope that you will enjoy your stay when you come to England. Please be very careful not to accidentally cross the border into Scotland. We built a wall a very long time ago to keep those buggers away. You'll know a Scottish person because they will be wearing a skirt known as a kilt and drinking iron brew.
If you stumble into Wales, you will recognise it because there will be a dragon there. If you accidentally cross the ocean and go to Ireland, you know you will be there because they will be eating potatoes. And claiming that they invented them. The correct greeting in Great Britain is this. Not to be confused with what the rappers do, which is this. Or what the Americans do, which is this. Or what Winston Churchill did, which was this. So remember, it's this. But added emphasis. There are a few swear words that us English people like that you foreigners just do not understand. The first one of these would be wanker. The correct use of this word would be as follows. Oh no, that wanker just stole my parking space. What a cunt. Oh bollocks. Bugger. Fuck nuggets. The Queen's favourite expression when used in anger is... Corgi flaps. Those were a few examples of our favourite swear words. So when you set sail, have a fantastic journey, and we look forward to seeing you soon. And that was another example of sarcasm. Now please, fuck off. Now it is time for us to sign off. Please remember to like, subscribe, and if you are able to write, please comment below. Toodle pip! Cheerio!